family is an important unit. It offers support and security coupled with unconditional love. UK, once a family-friendly nation, is no longer happy with people bringing in their families to join them here in the UK and they want to take measures to make sure that they bring an end to it. So this is the update that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Pauline Popomoyo and in this channel, we keep things real thank you so much guys for supporting this channel and watching my videos i really appreciate it let's dive into today's video so guys a couple of days ago i shared with you some sad news for tier 2 and tier 4 visa holders where i indicated that they are no longer allowed to work more than 20 hours per given week as per emails that they were sent by nhs professionals however after having sent the emails to the nhs staff the nhs professionals sent them another email and the email reads yesterday you were sent an email regarding a home office update in relation to unrestricted hours please note this only applies to you if your immigration visa status in the uk is tier 4 student if this is not the case please disregard this email so guys this is unfairly directed to tier 4 visa holders this is my opinion because the tier 4 visa holders there's been an outcry that they've been bringing in multitudes and multitudes of dependents when they come and start here in the uk the tier 4 visa holders guys actually pay large sums of money for university for example sixteen thousand pounds to twenty thousand pounds per annum and they've been benefiting from taking additional shifts for example working five days six days a week so that one they're able to pay their fees and they're also able to support their family but it seems like the number of dependents who have come in through this visa route are a thorn in the flesh to the home secretary and this is what the home secretary has actually said with regards to tier 4 visa holders they said that in the year ending june 2022 486,868 sponsored study visas were granted including dependents which is 71 percent more than in 2019 so that's an exponential growth guys and then they go on to say 81,089 were granted to dependents so this is what the home secretary says cut students visas to reduce immigration we have to look at some of the courses that people are doing in this country some of these institutions they are not always very good quality so is she saying that the institutions in UK are not very good quality? I find that very interesting, guys. She claimed the UK has very, very high numbers of low-skilled migrants, despite the government's point-based immigration system that is supposed to be tailored to the country's economic needs. Now, this is very confusing because on the other hand, the UK Prime Minister plans more immigration in an effort to fill vacancies and drive growth. And she even intends to boost the farming sector by getting more unskilled workers to come and work here in the UK. The low skilled workers. But the Home Secretary seems to be in opposition. It is said that the home secretary is keen to crack down on unskilled immigration i repeat or i quote the word as it is quoted crack down as she is concerned about the influx of people coming into the country as relatives of international students let's just look at the definition of crack down what it actually means 
It means to start dealing with bad or illegal behavior in a more severe way. So, which means they are going to be severely dealing with this situation. Of which they've already started because if you're a student and you've been benefiting from working at least five, six days a week to support your family, now the days have been reduced to just one day and it is very difficult to make ends meet here in the UK and at the same time you're expected to pay fees so guys be on the lookout because there is no telling what is going to happen next as the secretary has indicated that she wants to bring a stop to this so guys this is an update that i wanted to give you and you can let me know what you think in the comment section because in my opinion uk should continue being a family friendly country and with the critical shortage that they have here all the uh, migrants who have come in can be utilized they are complaining that there are no people to work in the fields they can create jobs for those people and people can work in the fields can work in the hospitality industry can work in the health and social care industry the people who are on the dependent visa can be utilized to fill in all these vacancies where they are complaining that there is shortage because some of these jobs they don't really require qualifications e.g the healthcare assistant jobs there is a huge gap there so this is all that i wanted to share with you guys just let me know what you think in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you never miss any of my videos thank you so much for watching guys I will see you in my next video. Bye.